less than one. Yeah. Less than one and very close to one. Maybe, but not in our course, maybe we have three effects. Axial normal, moment about x, and moment about y. We learned the moment about x and moment about y uh, in designing of uh, Berlin. That's right. And we, know, we learned why we have mx and my at the same time for Berlin. Do you remember yes. what we did? Because your Berlin is an inclined member and your load is a vertical member, so we have two components. These two components make mx uh, and my. But right now, we have axial force, so maybe we have axial force mx and my, but for frame, it will be for space frame. We didn't cover this structure even for structure analysis or steel design, but just in case. Okay, but uh, <coughs> for a standard AI SC, uh, we'll say the same equation, but uh, a, a little uh, change. If the axial load is small, if you d divide the ultimate by design compressive strength and you found this value greater than or equal 0.2 if this term be ultimate design uh, divided by your design compressive strength greater than or equal 0.2 then the second term will be okay, but multiplied by eight times nine, because your compressive stress or um, axial force or axial compression is large. B ultimate divide this value greater than 0.2, so we have large B ultimate. If your term B ultimate divide your design compressive stress smaller than 0.2, that means we have a small value of axial force. Then add to, to this term. This is the, uh, the standards. AISC will use the same interaction equation, but we add some uh, modification like two and eight nines based on what is the value of your axial force. <coughs> In our case, we will not use this term. We don't have MY because our frame not space. It's a uh, plain frame. So this term will not be considered. We have only normal force diagram. You can get your B ultimate. We have bending moment diagram. You can get your M ultimate X. Because your frame is plane. Space frame in the space X, Y, and Z. We, do, we, we don't cover this one. Uh, remember. For shear force diagram, <coughs> and you have B ultimate, this diagram alone, you can uh, check your shear strength alone without any combination with other. But if we have axial force, we have bending moment, both of them must be added together based on what is the relationship between your B ultimate and your design. You can figure out this equation or this equation must be used. Remember, this term must be smaller than one to be safe. Must be between 0.9 and 0.99 to be economic. So this equation must be smaller than one to be safe. Mm, should be, not must be, should be around 0 0.9, 0 0.95 to be economic. Let's do first example. <coughs> we have a column, maybe column in frame, column in truss, whatever, any column. And we have axial force, compression, dead load equal 35 kip, life load equal 99 kip. So what's your key algorithm? Equal 
dead loot plus 1.6 life loot. All of this stuff should be done by your software, by Reza, for example. But for our ex uh, exam, then we need to calculate the ultimate loot or factor <coughs> loot. So 1.2, the axial dead load 35, 1.6, the axial life load 99. So your value. Two hundred point four k. That's fine. Your big column under the effect of concentrated load at mid height. <coughs> value of dead load five k. Value of life load twelve k. So we can imagine this column can be looks like a simply supported beam. With one concentrated load here, equal 5 kip as a dead load, and 12 kip as a light load. So what's your F ultimate? Not F ultimate. We can call it ultimate load. What is the value of ultimate load here? Will be 1.2 dead load plus 1.6 life load. So your load will be 25.2 kip. So finally, we have here concentrated load with a value 25.2 kip. Can you tell me what is the bending moment on this column from structure analysis? Your bending moment on a simply supported beam due to concentrated load will be triangle. Your bending moment here will be your load 25.2 times this distance, which is 8.5, times <coughs> this distance, which is 8.5, divide the total distance, which is 17. Just a quick review from structure analysis. And I told you, during the exam or homework, if you cannot remember how to get your moment, how to get your shear, how to get your axial force for a member, go ahead and use reason. We have concentrated load here 25.2. This distance, 8.5 feet. This distance, 8.5 feet. If you go back for structure analysis, we have a triangle, this value of moment called P, A, B over L. This distance A, this distance B, the total distance is L. And here is your concentrated root. So I can figure out what is your bending moment. Will be 25.2 times 8.5 times 8.5, divide 17, 25.2 times 8.5. <coughs> 107.1, 107.1. So your M ultimate equal 107.1 kip foot. The given load on this column may be solved manually. So we have uh, axial force for dead, axial force for life. We can get the axial force factor axial force. Uh, for some reason, we have a concentrated load at mid-height, so we have uh, this force as a dead load, as a life load, so we can make combination, and we can get your bending moment m ultimate. Remember, this value and this value can be done in a second if you use reason. Hey, this column has maximum axial force equal maybe 29.3. So your B ultimate will be this value. The same column will have bending moment maybe 88.3 or 41.8, which is the which one is the maximum? 88. So 88. So your M ultimate will be 88 kip foot.
So these two terms from your project coming from your structure analysis results, from reason. You can get it in one second. But for this problem, we are learning. So we calculated our internal forces from structure analysis point of view. Anyway, we selected, we assumed this column will be W10 times 49 coming from steel 992A. Do you think this cross section will be or will satisfy their design or not? We have axial force. We have bending moment. In our course, our bending moment is M ultimate X. Okay, we need to design. Uh, not design, we need to check because your cross section is given. So we need to check this cross section. Is it sufficient or not? What's the first step? Check. You are in this case, or you are in this case. You you are the ultimate, which is two hundred point four divided phi b normal. Uh, I'm sorry, nominal b greater than or equal point two or smaller than point two. You are in this equation or this equation. So we need to figure out what is the B ultimate divided by phi Pn. What's this value? Okay, go back a little bit. To calculate your phi Pn, which is the design compressive strength of your column, you need to multiply phi time F critical time area gross. That's fine. Okay, go ahead. P ultimate, we got it. 200.4 kip. Phi critical, uh, phi C, P N equal phi C, F critical area gross. Phi will be 0.9. F critical, that means we need K L over R to figure out what is the value of F critical. K, go ahead to your column. Your column is bin, bin, or fix it, fix it, or fix it free, or what is? Bin, bin. I think bin, bin, so K equal one. Your total height or length of your column, 17 feet. Multiply it by 12 to be an inch. Open your table, Elma, and tell me for W10 times 49, what is the value of Rx? What is the value of Ry? Radius of generation. Rx is 4.35. And Ry? Uh, 2.54. 2 2.5. The smallest value between Rx and Ry, 2.5. Then I can figure out what is the value of Kl over R. So your value will be 17 times 12 to be an inch, divided by 2.5, your value 81.6. Open your table for design of column and let me know what is the value of F critical. For 81 or 82, that's fine. 27.5. 27.5. That was already at, uh, with very critical. Is that what the chart shows us? Yeah, this one will be phi F critical, both of them yeah. at the same time. What is the value of area gross? I'm sorry, go back to your table. For W10 times 49, what is the area gross? Area gross is 14.4. 14.4 inch square. So, finally, your phi C P N equal phi C F critical 27.5. Your area gross 14.4. Your final answer will be.
396 kep. <coughs> so, B ultimate, which is 200.4 from structure analysis results, divided by your design compressive strength 396, what is the value? Point five one. I think point five one. Equal point five one is greater than point two. That's right. We need to figure out if you will be ultimate divided by phi p n uh, greater than or equal point two or smaller than or uh, 0.2. I think it's greater than 0.2, so we are in the first case. This term plus 8 nines times this term. So, your design will be P ultimate divided by P critical, or C, Pn plus 8 nines times M ultimate X divided by M P M N X plus M ultimate Y divided by M N Y. What is your value? If you would like to say, hey, this term equals zero because we don't have M ultimate Y. We have only M ultimate X. Before starting to use this equation, and this equation must be smaller than or equal one. Before starting, what what should we do? Everything is given. Everything is ready, except this term, this dominator. So, one more time, I'm sorry. For W, 10 times 49, what is the value of LP? What is the value of LR? Everything is the same problem. Design of beam, design of column, everything. What is the value of your LP and LR for this cross section? So go back to your design of beam table and look for this cross section. What is this value? 